Good morning, Mr. Trump. Fred John Bonin, Gold Star Dad here again. Sir, my Baptist training teaches me to forgive. And sir, I try. Yet, your expression of regret sidesteps the core issue of fault. The admission of that is what the offended individual is seeking, is it not? So, Mr. Trump, you haven't actually explained exactly what you regret. Once again, you are thinking that because misinformed people that support you buy into your con man doublespeak, well, sir, I am not misinformed and clearly understand that a Wharton Business School graduate can speak clearly without having to be interpreted by his surrogates. Sir, I am not a top of the class Wharton Business School graduate, so I sincerely hope I come across clearly, but I'll try. When you say, I regret, it is clearly about you and how it affects you. Not that you are sorry about how it makes the other person feel. Sir, it's not about choosing the right words. Clearly the words you choose are what you meant because they are repeated by you numerous times. You said them and then you repeat them. The words you say aren't misspoken or not PC. They are insulting, uncompassionate and mean-spirited. Sir, as I have pointed out previously, you are a coward and a fraud. You have no business endangering our country's security by running for the job of President of the United States when you are not only woefully lacking the good judgment when you are under pressure, you don't have the class to represent our great nation. You're supported by people that bought into your anti-government rhetoric and hate speech. Well, sir, I have not, nor do most honorable and good Americans. Again, sir, I challenge you to speak in an open forum where average Americans can test your knowledge on basic constitutional issues and foreign policy. Because, sir, a successful Wharton Business School graduate that knows, in his own words, more than the generals do, should be able to do that with ease. So, sir, I hope I was clear. I think you are a coward and a fraud, and I don't believe you understand what the job of the President of the United States of America actually entails. Thank you for your time. Fred John Bonig, Gold Star Dad.